Military whistleblower Bradley Manning has pleaded guilty to 10 out of 22 charges against him. He admitted to leaking the U.S. state secrets to WikiLeaks, but denied aiding the enemy, the charge uh, that could lead him to life in jail. Let's get up to speed on this with RT's Marina Portnaya. Hi there, Marina. Um, I don't know whether there was a lot of surprise about this today, but what could th these admissions now from him mean? He's already been in prison, of course, for a 1,000 days, hasn't he? He sure has. Uh, what uh, many are, are thinking is that uh, Bradley Manning has, had pled guilty to these 10 counts against him in hopes that he would face a sentence of 20 years to life instead of in 20 years maximum instead of a life sentence, which the U.S. government was going for. Now, as you, you told our audience, the U.S. government has charged Bradley Manning with 22 counts. He has pleaded guilty to 10 counts. Now, this is the first time the 25-year-old has formally admitted guilt since being arrested more than 1,000 days ago. Now, Manning uh, reportedly pleaded guilty to unauthorized possession and willful communication of sensitive material, including the State Department cables and other materials provided to WikiLeaks. Now, according to Manning's attorney, David Coombs, Manning uh, pleaded not guilty to aiding the enemy and a number of other lesser charges. However, the soldier allegedly told the court that he'd like to take blame for charges that were not presented by the U.S. government and instead in introduced by Manning. Now, for more than nine months, we have to remind our, our viewers that uh, the, uh, this Army intelligence analyst was held in solitary confinement, which began in, uh, in July 2010. He was held under conditions where for 23 hours a day, he was in a six by eight foot windowless cell, forced to sleep naked without bed sheets, and kept on suicide watch. Many experts believe that those conditions essentially forced Manning into pleading guilty. That uh, essentially some would say that he was living under draconian, torturous conditions at the, hand, at the hands of the U.S. government. And that is what uh, pushed him to this point. Manning, uh, we are told, is scheduled to be uh, giving a, a press conference uh, very soon. Now, he, as I mentioned, he currently uh, faces a sentence of uh, life in prison, uh, but he is uh, hoping, many presume, that these, uh, these pleading guilty to 10 charges will uh, give him an opportunity to face a sentence, a maximum sentence of only 20 years in prison. We have to wait and see how that unfolds and, of course, what Manning will be saying when he uh, addresses the media or the audience or wherever he will be addressing uh, people later on today. Absolutely. Marie Portnaya in New York, thanks very much. Just to remind our viewers again that uh, headline news, uh, Bradley Manning has pleaded guilty to 10 out of 22 charges against him.